Problem 1.3-2. A load of P equals 3.0 kips is applied to the connection. The failure stress of the pin material is 25 KSI. Design the diameter of the pin to the nearest 1 16th inch, assuming a factor of safety of 2. I will begin by calculating tau allowable. Allowable stress is equal to failure stress divided by a factor of safety. In this case, our failure stress is 25 KSI. Our factor of safety is 2. That gives us an allowable shear stress of 12.5 KSI. Next, I'm going to draw a free body diagram of the pin. I've drawn a free body diagram of the pin. At the center of the pin, there is a force pointing upwards. That represents this member with a force P, which is 3.0 kips. The pin splits that force into the two members on either side of the central member. Those are represented with arrows and forces of one and a half kips each. Now I'm going to imagine a theoretical cut at this dotted line, and I'm going to draw a free body diagram of the cut pin. I've drawn a free body diagram of the cut pin. At the cut surface is an internal resultant shear force, V. I'm assuming the internal normal resultant normal force and internal resultant moment are both equal to zero. By summing the forces in the y direction, I know that V is equal to 1.5 kips. The equation for calculating the average shear stress in a pin like we have here is the internal resultant shear force V divided by the cross-sectional area. I'm going to replace tau average with tau allowable. I have rewritten the equation to solve for A. The cross-sectional area is equal to the internal resultant force divided by our allowable shear stress. I'm going to call that equation 1. The cross-section of our pin is circular. The area of the cross-section is given as pi divided by 4 times the diameter squared. I'm going to call this equation 2. Substituting equation 2 into equation 1 gives me the following equation for the diameter. I will now substitute 1.5 kips in for V, and I will substitute 12.5 KSI in for our allowable shear stress. I do this and I get a value for diameter of 0 0.391 inches. The problem statement asked us to find the diameter to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. 0 0.391 inches is equivalent to 6.25 sixteenths of an inch. So I will use a 7 sixteenths inch diameter pin. If I were to choose a 6 sixteenths inch pin, the cross section would be too small and my allowable shear stress would be exceeded. And we are done.